Welcome to another Emmy Creations Artist Alley vlog and this time we are going to WinterCon 2023 at the Anaheim Convention Center from March 24th to the 26th and this time I am an exhibitor but I will also be going over Artist Alley details as well so stay tuned for all the juicy details. So I'm packing for WonderCon and it's time to do a luggage tour because I actually finished packing and I kind of want to show you how I'm organizing everything. So first off, I am driving to the event so I do not have to worry about weight. So per usual, all my tiered uh, wooden displays are wrapped in this tablecloth and I have some baskets that they can use, locks, um, more baskets. And these are merchandise bags. And these guys hold my three inch stickers and there's three of them. And then on the other side, this is just like a hanging for pretty reasons display thing. And then down here are my um, cube displays. And then here are some samples of my keychains and lanterns, sample stickers, um, some clips for the signs. And then this is also display stuff. So a lot of display stuff in this one. And then I am bringing my hoodies. So this whole bag is full of hoodies. And I have this tiny, tiny suitcase that I'm bringing because this actually holds all my prints. So here are all my prints and some stuff to do commissions at the show, which I sometimes do at WonderCon. And I actually bring buttons to this show because it's so close to me and buttons are heavy so, and I don't have to worry about weight. And this suitcase holds a lot of my shirts. I'm bringing more shirts to this show because again, it is close to me. And this is size sample shirts that I bring if I have a lot of space and a lot of shirts so people can try on the size before they buy the shirt so I don't have to open up the bags. And this is all the sample shirts that get hung up. And then over here we have a smaller um, hard suitcase. This is all my socks, they're wrapped up. And this is my sample of my hoodies. And then down here we have um, sticker sheets, greeting cards, and some, there's another box down there that has all my tools. And then over here we have our giant golf bag. Our golf bag carries my uh, backdrop displays, which is all down here. There's actually, I'm bringing three sets this time just to see what I can do. Um, and then these are the banners that show off my keychain stickers. And this is a little banner that I kind of don't know if I'm going to use. This one is the lanyard. This one is some um, bags that I have. And then this is, I don't remember what this is. I think this is my plushies. So yeah, I kind of shoved it in there, barely fits. And then for those curious, my bags are these foldable bags that I sometimes sell if I have room to bring them. So one, two, three, four, five. Five suitcases and a bag. And WonderCon does help us bring these really close to the show for free. So their freight is free for exhibitors and artists only, I think. So I'm bringing more stuff than usual because of that. Hey guys, I am going to WonderCon today, the Anaheim Convention Center, and this is setup day. And I am driving myself over, all my stuff is packed in the car, and I'm gonna get in the freight line, and hopefully it won't take too long. So I will see you when I get over there. And my car is pretty packed. Thank you. 
Hey guys, we have arrived at the convention center and we are waiting in the freight line to get our stuff in. Last of my luggage being unloaded. Checking everything here and then getting my car parked and then setting up. Hey guys, so I got everything dropped off at the booth with the freight. Um, essentially, they just let us drive up to the booth. They started that last WonderCon. Um, before that, they had people driving all your stuff to the booth, but I guess for them, sometimes it's faster to have us drive our cars in. Um, and then I just drove right back out and reparked my car at the structure right next to the convention center in the back and then walk back over to set up and get my badge. So that is what I'm doing right now. Um, all my stuff is over there already and I will be setting up. They're still setting up Artist Alley. Artist Alley doesn't start until four for setup. So this is why. So while I'm setting up, let's talk about WonderCon. It's run by the same people who organize San Diego Comic-Con, except it's located at the Anaheim Convention Center right across from Disneyland, and this year it happened from March 24th to the 26th. It is one of my favorite shows because of how they organize things and how they handle freight. Everything is super clear in the emails, it's easy to check in, and their freight is free, and as you can see, they let you drive right up to the booth. However, there are some changes that they made this year that I will be going over more later in the video in regards to artist alley changes, display regulation, and management changes. And here's the semi-final result. So I got the banners in the front and in back of the banners on each side, I have a self-serve kind of style where you can grab your own stickers, you can grab your own keychains and lanyards. And then to the back, I have the t-shirts displayed and the cards, sticker sheets, and other things on the table in the middle. So day before the con, I am charging everything basically. I actually have three portable power banks. There's the big one here. Um, there's this tiny one here, and this one is for my phone, and I'm also charging my square reader, and um, my scanner, and my Wi-Fi hotspotter. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and then I need to charge my iPad, and that's it. Actually, it all fits on this surge protector I bring to all my events. It's Friday, which is the first day of the con, and I wanted to show you the back parking structure I was talking about and how close it is to the convention center, mostly if you're an exhibitor, since you can enter from the back. 
To get to the structure, you go on West Street and then turn on Transit Plaza. It is $20 a day to park. And the downside is that three wonder cons ago, they opened it to general attendees to park as well. So you are finding attendees for parking space. So you will want to arrive a good 20 to 40 minutes earlier to get spots because it does fill up mostly on Saturdays. And then for those getting dropped off, you can actually get dropped off on the same path when you go down West Street and then turn on Transit Plaza. There's a little circle at the very back of Transit Plaza where you can get dropped off and it's the closest drop to Hall C or Artist Alley. You just have to go from the front in that case. You do usually have to wait in the same car line as the parking structure line, which is the only downside, so it might take you a little bit to get all the way down to the road, but it is a good drop off spot if you're looking for that. Then on Saturday, I was lucky enough to have a friend come film a convention walkthrough so you can get a sense of how big the hall is, how the booths look, and how many attendees there were during our busiest Saturday hour. While he does that, let's go through some fun details about WonderCon 2023. This year, there were some interesting changes that made some people happy, but most not. First, Artist Alley had a print only, aka no merchandise regulation that they sent out to artists pretty much last minute, around one month before the actual show. They said that there will only be 20% of your booth that can be merchandise, and they did consider stickers as merchandise. Second, they started cracking down on booth heights, and people were actually coming around reinforcing the rule. In the past, there were height regulations in the manuals, but they were never actually reinforced, so the reinforcement part was new. Artist Alley was restricted to 8 foot, and I'm told exhibitors were restricted to 10 to 12 feet. I think they just eyeballed the exhibitor part though for the most part. I do believe these changes were partly because the individual now managing WonderCon exhibitor Paul has changed. In the past, San Diego Comic-Con and WonderCon had two different floor managers, but now the manager for SDCC manages both events. The detail as to why or who I'm not entirely clear on, but this is what several vendors have told me to be true. I know a lot of artists still ended up breaking the 20% merchandise rule, however, I also know that there were quiet regulators walking around Artist Alley hired by WonderCon before opening hours taking pictures of people's booths. Therefore, I think breaking the rule may affect attendance for next year. That brings us to the final topic, how to get in. WonderCon is set up similar to San Diego Comic Con, which is a little different from most events. They allow both exhibitors and artist alley to reapply for next year. The process this year was a little different though, where they stated on the application form that spots were not necessarily guaranteed for the artist alley side. However, they still did allow everyone to pay a deposit for next year's booth in full. Therefore, we'll have to see closer to 2024 whether or not they end up refusing or rejecting some of those applications and deposits. Therefore, with the new uncertainty, if you're new and want to attend, 2024 may be a good year for you to apply. Their applications are usually just open year round. You email the exhibitor sales to get the application to get on the wait list. You do have to do this every year to maintain your position on the waitlist or you may get kicked to the end of the waitlist if you miss an application for one of the years. It's Sunday and it means I went to re-sign up for next year so I'll be at WonderCon 2024. And while I was walking back to my hall in Hall C, let me show you the overall layout of the actual exhibitor hall and the booth sizes that are available. So at the very end of the hall, that's where the Funko booth is and that's where the exhibitor sign-in is. And we have a handful of 10 by 10 and larger booths placed over there, which is similar to my booths. However, in the middle of the hall, maybe around hall B, you have a handful of 10 by five booths, which is being shown in the video right now. These are a fraction of the price, which can be good option for some people. However, keep in mind the 10 by five booths from what a lot of people have been telling me are not in ideal locations. And then right next to that in Hall C is where Artist Alley is with their one tables that we're familiar with. And that's also where my booth is right next to Artist Alley. And then in Hall 
H next to Artist Alley is where the attendees line up to get in. This is where the main line is. However, during show hours, they do open the front of the hall where a lot of the doors are. So in terms of booth placement, you would want to either be towards the front or towards Hall A in my opinion for max benefit. And at the show, sadly, the booth placement does matter. So just something to keep in mind if you're applying for any spots next year. That does conclude our Artist Alley Exhibitor vlog for WonderCon 2023. While we look at the final look of my overall booth, I do want to thank everyone so much for watching and supporting my YouTube channel. We finally got monetized, so every watch, subscribe, alert, and ad click is now directly supporting my small business, and I really can't thank you all enough. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll get to them as fast as I can. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next vlog.